This video is a little unhinged. There are so many ups and downs in this process. It is wild over here. Good news is though, I have my camera. Bad news, don't have a mic and um, I can't see what's going on at all on my camera, so. <laughs> Hope it's recording. And thank you everyone. I saw all your wonderful comments from the last video I posted. Um, if you missed it, I will link it for you guys in case you're interested in what happened. But we are still in recovery mode from the fire. There's a lot happening, a lot of two steps forward, one step back kind of situations and stuff going on. And one of those steps back that I don't think I actually talked about at all in the last video, and I meant to, was that a lot of my makeup was not salvageable. Is it my own fault? Yes, yes it is. I left it all out on the table and so anything again that was in you or on you that was you know in the zone of smoke should be discarded just for safety purposes um because soot has a lot of toxins in it so any of the makeup was out that i felt uncomfortable using i had to discard which was like that that that's sad i'm a little bit sad about that however it did mean <laughs> that I went shopping. Actually, two things of shopping. Also bought some makeup off of Amazon because I was lazy and didn't want to go to the drugstore. So that's step one of this video, but then tomorrow, which technically is in this video, I'm gonna be decluttering my makeup. It's one of those like, well, I'm already here and I might as well because I have to clean everything anyway. So makeup damaged by smoke, discard it. Makeup not damaged by smoke, donate it to friends and family. And I have a little bee nut coming because we both love to organize and I'm very excited. <laughs> but first we're gonna, we're gonna unbox this because this just came in. You can see I lifted it and then I didn't fully unbox it. Very proud of myself. Waiting for you guys. That was very satisfying. That came off all in one go. Thank you, Sephora. Get out of here. Okay, so this is mostly a haul of things that I repurchased that I had to discard. So these are all like the good, the good stuff. These are the nuggets, the gems of Makeup awesomeness. Did I also buy things that are new? Yes, I did. Right, I'm only human, all right? Oh, okay, so the first, oh. I also have to, I have to wash all of my brushes because my brushes are, are in those like little flower containers from Ikea that we all started with back in like 2014. I need to upgrade those, this, that's very old. But anyway, they were all sitting out right next to a floor vent. So I have to wash all of those. <sighs> that just reminded me because I got another one of these. These are the um, the ABH 12. This is the spoolie brush. This is basically, I mean, it has a brush on the other end. I don't use that. But this is the only one that I use for my brows because it's aggressive enough. If you don't like an aggressive, if you want like a nice soft spoolie, you're not gonna like this. This is like for those who have the like aggressive, <laughs> you know the the truck commercials that drive through the mud like that's that's this spoolie the hair is driving me nuts this one doesn't mess around this is going to brush everything in place if you need to really love this <laughs> so many goodies this is the urban decay all-nighter ultra glow setting spray i love this one the other one's good too it like it, it's good we know it's classic however this one has like a little bit of like a glowiness to it um and it was out which was very sad and also it was, it was almost empty let's be honest i needed to do this anyway this right here this is this is so good it is such a good setting spray <gasps> yes okay my rare beauty lip souffle and brave really upset that this one was lost. Love this color so much and I tend to mix it with like a berry tone and it creates this like really pretty your lips but better and it's like that soft kind of like, like the look I have on my lips. <laughs> I have to check what I put on my lips this morning. It's this kind of a look on the lips that's sort of like barely there kind of lip stain vibe, which I really love. So I had to repurchase this one, but it is like one of my all time favorite shades. I love this one. It mixes so well, plays nice with others. Got some more of my Peace Out Acne treatment spots with salicylic acid because <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like this, but my skin just doesn't play well with like a lot of stress. And I tend to live my life in a very, <laughs> I laugh because I'm very stressed out. There's a lot of balls in the air. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, not just the fire, but there's a lot of stuff happening. It's a little bit stressful and my skin doesn't appreciate that. And so I've um, been getting like little acne spots, um, which is not normal for my skin, but like everyone, like that time of the month a little bit, but like these are really good. I really like them. They're gonna go to my bathroom, which is why I just threw them on the floor. Like an animal. And then I got, oh, I got, um, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. Now, sad news, 
this one was out and open, of course it was. But the primer, the primer was not, which is great. So I saved that one because the two of those together, they work so well and they make your skin look all like yummy and glowy and beautiful. So I got this one. I got it in a different color because the one that I had was uh, a little too, I want to say, dark. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. But I was just like using it because I'm like, I have it, you know? So this time I decided to get a different shade. So we'll see if this one is a better match. Oh, come on. That's a good match, right? Might be a little bit light. No, I always think that and then it's always the right shade. This is going to be good. This is, is going to be good. We're excited about this. Okay. I got another Laguna bronzing cream. This time I got it in 01. The other one, phenomenal formula. It was a little bit too dark. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Look at that. Oh, this formula is like like airbrushed skin. If you like airbrushed skin and you want to be like all bronzy, this guy, you need, you need this guy in your life. I have tried my fair share of bronze and creams and like, let me tell you, this one is so easy to blend out. It's not too pigmented, like you can build it very easily and it just gives like a airbrush flawless glow. And by glow, I meant bronze. You know what I meant though. We're, it's fine. Oh, this is the new one. Okay, okay, okay. I got this one. This is the um, Makeup by Mario, the Surreal Skin Foundation. I've been seeing a lot of hype behind this one. So maybe we'll like test this in a video. I don't know, let me know. But I got the shade 2N. Please tell me this is my shade. It's gonna be my shade, right? Oh, come on, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think it is anyway. Hopefully everyone's just sitting there nodding like, yeah, Rachel, that is your shade. How close did I get it to the other one? Look at that. Those are pretty close. This one's a little bit more gray toned, which tends to go well with my skin for some reason. I don't know what that says about my skin, but um, here we are. I got that sickly gray undertone that just really melds well. You see me packaging this back up? Why am I doing this? My brain isn't fully here. Cause you know what I've been doing for the last like four days? Okay, story time. So all of the kids clothes were taken out of their rooms to go to the cleaners to get cleaned. They took them out of the drawers. They took them out of um, buckets that I had set aside in their closets that are clothes that they had outgrown. So each of the kids has one of those buckets and then all of their other clothes. And they took them all out of the drawers and out of the closets sent them to be cleaned. When they bring them back, not only are they entirely mixed up, so they kept all of the boys stuff together and Julia's stuff separate, but then all of the stuff they had outgrown, all of the stuff that they were in their drawers, everything is like a nightmare. So I'm like, cool, great. I'll just fold it and sort it and we'll like put it all away. It'll take a day, whatever. And then I started to smell the clothing. Smelled like toxic chemicals. This isn't like a, like a, oh, it was dry cleaned and it was like a special clean. No, it smelled heinous. Like I could, I could taste the chemicals in the back of my throat, which isn't healthy. So I got all of that back and like then some stuff smelled and then some stuff didn't smell. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And then I have a brother-in-law who's insurance and he's like, maybe something was behind, beside like a, an exhaust fan or was like stuck in like a behind a truck or in another room with like another thing. I don't know. So I sent the stuff back that's gonna be difficult to clean because they also took like, my daughter has a bunch of those like big pillows. Then I just decided, I'm like, I'm just going to do all of the laundry. I'm just gonna do it myself. If it comes out, if all the stuff comes out, great. Otherwise I'm gonna send it back and they can deal with it. So I did, you wanna take a guess? Just take a moment, try and guess how many loads of laundry I did. Because it was also not just that, it was also um, their sheets as well. Okay, take a guess, take a moment. 14, 14 loads of laundry in four days. It was a lot, it was aggressive, it was too much. I don't wanna do any laundry ever again. And then, then I had to go through and I was like lining up all of their pants. Cause like, you know how kids clothes are. Like sometimes it's like two T fits them perfectly and then sometimes it's three T's too small. So I had to line them all up and make sure I'm like, okay, I know these fit Connor, but will these fit Connor? No, I'm putting them, like it was, took forever. So that's where my brain's at and that's why <laughs> This video is a little unhinged. It's okay, because we're in this together, everyone. I'll link all this product down below. The other thing that I got, okay, so I really like the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. Such a good concealer, and the match is perfect. That's the one that I brought with me to my parents' house. That's the one that was like not touched by smoke. So that was in shade five, and I love that under eye one. It just brightens, it's beautiful, it's not too thick. It's 
perfect. So I decided to get the Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation and I got it in the shade that made sense too. And I also got it in five because that's what my concealer is. Never know with these guys. So let's see which one is right. Okay, that could be a little dark, right? That, that could be dark. Why does it work for found concealer then? I keep looking like it's in my drawers. It's not in my drawers. Here it is, it is. Rubbed off, so helpful. Those aren't the same. Maybe I didn't get five like I thought it was. Awesome, I'm really crushing this video today. Okay, what about two? Whoa, nope, not two. Two is uh, a little bit too yellow. Yeah, too yellow. All right, well, maybe it's four. No idea what shade that is, awesome. I mean, it's not not the right shade, it's just not the right shade, you know? <sighs> it's fine, what's this? Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, when did I get a small little guy? This is the ABH Brow Power Powder Duo because I have one specific shade. I know you all do this. With eyeshadow palettes, you have like one or two shades in one palette and you're just like, these are the shades that I love. Anyway, I found one that matches perfectly to my hairline. So sometimes like I have areas around here from like my hair is growing in now, but like it was like balding patches that I would use that powder shade to fill in because again, it just matched beautifully. And for whatever reason, any brow or hair or product that fills it, like none of them match. And I was sad because that one was out and open. So I had to pitch it. I'm really sad about it. That's probably like the biggest loss. And it was just like a ColourPop palette. I don't even think they make it anymore. So this one looked promising in that maybe it could fill in. See, no, no, that's too, it's too gray and light, you know? I always think my hair is light and it's not at the root. It's not. This is a uh, medium brown, just for reference. Okay, back you go. What's this guy? This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Spotlight Highlighter. It's just such a good one. I was really missing it. So I'm very happy to have a new one now because these things are always out of stock and it's just a really good one, okay? You already know what this is, okay, all right. I feel like that was pretty good. But now drugstore stuff. We got some stuff here, okay. Maybelline, you know, the, the dark circle eraser. I don't know if you've tried this before, but um, this is the eraser corrector, this thing right here. I've been using this for years. And I tell you that this is among the best concealers that I have ever used. It just, it's incomparable. It's incomparable. The shade that I had originally um, no longer exists or they've changed it or something. This guy right here, he is um, pink, but I think that that might be too dark for, for me. And then I got a couple more shades because I was like, why not? I might as well just see if I can find one that works. This is shade 95. And I thought maybe this one as like a brightener under the eyeballs. I was thinking maybe it'd be a little bit more pink than this though. This looks very light. I'm really sad. Maybelline, can you tell me what I have? Because it's not there anymore. And then I got, I don't know why I got this. This is medium. No, it's not. Sorry, I lied. This is 120 light and this is dark. This is dark for me. No, I'm, in no world is that gonna work for me. Just for reference, this is light. This is the, the shade is called light. That's not light. There is lighter. <laughs> Let me know if you think that one would work. Is that one gonna brighten? What else I got? I feel like I got some brow. Pr oh yes. This okay. So this pencil is so good. This is the Tattoo Studio by Maybelline in bold brown. Love it. And then I got a couple more um, brow product. NYX I find has really good brow products. So I got a couple more of their like little mini like micro brow pencils. I got brunette and ash brown. Brunette looks a little bit red. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Okay, well, I feel like we did a good job. So um, now I was gonna put this away into the drawers and I can't do that. So I'm gonna put it into the box and we're gonna be back tomorrow. Okay, now it's my favorite day. I love a good declutter and cleaning and organizing and I have a bee with me. Bee just got here and she's gonna help me to declutter and organize and wash all of my brushes and stuff because it's time, it needed to happen anyway, but with everything, you know, this is what's up. I keep trying to reach for these brushes and I keep forgetting that these aren't clean. We gotta deep clean them. And these drawers have always been a disaster, so it's about time I clean them. It'll be a good, like, fresh start to the year, you know? Okay, I'm gonna get Chris's help to move this over here so we actually have some space to like declutter this. What are my socks doing? I'm gonna take these to the bathroom. Wow, it is a lot heavier than I was anticipating. We're gonna wash all these in here. It's going to take forever. 
These were all the brushes that were like underneath my um, sink ready to be cleaned. So I washed those last night and my self tanning brushes. I think I need to also declutter these. Like I, I never use all of these. So I'm going to try and do that. We'll see how successful I am. I use maybe, I would, you know what? I would use like 40% of these. We'll try and like cull that, I guess. So heavy. Ugh. Thank you. So let's start by getting all the makeup out. Look guys, I thought it'd be Beatrix, what's your, what's your, what's your favorite thing to do? I love to organize. So we, this is prime. This is it. This is, this is, this is our, this is our moment yeah. to shine because this is what we live for. Live for. Are we talking about the fire? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this was worth it for me. <laughs> I actually started the fire. <laughs> be not started the fire. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna take everything out. Okay, that's Usually I go drawer by drawer, but I feel like that's not the, I think we need to take it all out. We need to see what the damage is here. We do. So this is what we have right now. That's a lot for like just a small little drawer set. So I think first we're gonna clean out the drawers and then we're gonna organize this. Okay, I know this sounds very weird, but these smell really good. Oh, that is good. Okay, wait, it's the blue land stuff. <laughs> it's my favorite. I don't have a vacuum right now, guys. <laughs> Since we have to work with what we have. We're in quite the predicament. Well, we'll do our best. It's like a little kid came in here with their crayons. Yeah, but it was you. It was me. <laughs> okay, that's better. Got the makeup out at least. I am gonna start decluttering some of this makeup. Like what am I keeping? What am I not keeping? These are the questions. Cause all of this makeup was okay. Plus I got new makeup. So now I need to decide what uh, needs to go away. Honestly, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh no. Falling out. Okay, what's staying and what's going? Should I stay or should I go? I was right there. Nah, 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 nah. That's a nice one. Honestly, I feel like we're doing a really good job. We're making really quick work of this, I have to say. Like, we are crushing this. We are a good team. We got this, girl. Got this. Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> almost done, almost done. All right, I think we have it all organized now. <laughs> Goner came to visit. So now let's put all of it back. And now we play Tetris. I don't remember what was in here. <laughs> Let me hold on that one. How oh, am I so bad at this? Ooh, this could work. Oh, no, that won't work that way. Do it this way. No, this was this, I think. No, actually, I'm not even sure. This is such a mishmash of things. Yeah. Done. This one's bothering me. Okay, it's not perfect, but it'll it'll do for now. All right, let's put it all back. Sponges will go here too, but most of mine are being washed or I had to throw out because fire. Honestly, real proud of myself right now. Look at what Busy B has been doing. It's getting so clean. So many. It's aggressive amount of brushes. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> it's very aggressive. This is very aggressive. All right, almost done and boom. <laughs> Oops. Oh my gosh, I've never seen it look like this. There are things coming. There's things coming. This is all cleared up. And like, wait, look at the brushes. I am so proud of us. B had to go home because she has a little baby, but we. Crush this. This is mostly B. This is, you know what? This is like basically all B. Thanks, B Nat. I'm very pleased to have some fresh brushes and then we can decide what needs to like go back into the containers, you know? It took a little longer than I thought to like clear everything, but wow, we got a lot accomplished today. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. This is 
is apparently where the tricks lie for 2023. So stay tuned, get excited because I'm very excited. This is gonna be such a good year. So many fun things to come. A lot of things happening around this space. If you couldn't tell by the echo going on in this room. So thank you for bearing with me while we uh, cleaned up all the, <laughs> the fire makeup and got things in order for the new year. It's just kind of one of those things where you gotta just, if you, you rip off the band-aid, the fire started everything and we're just like, well, while we're here, lots of fun things to come. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you guys all in the next one. Mwah.